Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. I wanted to start this video off by saying thank you all so very much for all of your support. We were able to rescue New Girl and Corey drove out last weekend to go pick her up. So she's been here for about a week now. Um, this is a little bit of her story and what's been going on with her so far. Um, but with, without your support, we would not have been able to rescue her. So we just want to say thank you all so very much for supporting our foundation and helping us in our rescue mission to go uh, pick up new girl from Southern Wisconsin, Second Chance Lot. We decided to name her Arabella and we're super excited to have her here on the farm with us. And this is a little bit of what she's been up to for uh, the past week. Since New Girl was located in Columbus, Wisconsin, Corey took the 1,100 mile one-way journey to go pick her up by himself. I stayed back to take care of the rest of the horses here on the farm. Corey was focused on driving, so he did send me one video because I was dying to see what she looked like. But this was her freedom ride after he picked her up and had stopped for fuel. About 2,200 miles later, in a three-day trip, Corey arrived back here at the farm with our new girl from Wisconsin. Corey was happy to get out of the truck, and I'm sure she was happy to get out of the trailer. This was when we got her back here to the farm and we were getting her offloaded. With her coming from out of state, we wanted to make sure that she was healthy, so we did actually put her in our backyard for a couple days until Dr. Wagner could come out to the farm and give her a health checkup. These are just a few clips of her in the backyard settling into her new retirement home. She was very uneasy the first few days that we had her back here at the farm. She didn't really come up to you and didn't want to be petted, so it was going to take us some time to earn her trust. We gave her plenty of space to learn her new surroundings. Corey and I would sit on the back porch and just watch her graze, just so she would get used to us being in her area. She took a liking right away to Alpha Pro and we didn't even have to bribe her with molasses. She finally got to a point where she felt comfortable and we caught her on the security cameras actually rolling around in the backyard, which I thought was the cutest thing ever. She was also having a problem with the flies, and since I couldn't get close to her, I couldn't get fly spray on her. So I was going to spend some time walking around the backyard with her to see if she would let me pet her. If I was able to pet her, then I'd be able to wipe her down with some fly spray and help her out a little bit with that situation.
It didn't take too long and I was able to pet her. She did walk up to me finally. So I went back in the house and got a towel to get some fly spray so we could wipe her down because she was quite agitated with the flies. After we bonded over fly spray that day, she came closer to me that evening to graze. This girl did a phenomenal job on all the weeds that were in the backyard. Dr. Wagner from Mobile Veterinary Practice was here at the end of the week to give her a checkup. We did do blood work, got her dewormed, and just gave her a regular exam to make sure that she was doing well. All her blood work came back normal, so she did get a clean bill of health. However, I did not get a video of Dr. Wagner's exam because I apparently did not hit record on the camera when she was here. The first day we gave her some grass hay and she was definitely not interested in it, but after a couple days she started to eat grass hay, so that was a good thing. I did enjoy seeing a horse in my backyard grazing. Every time I walked past the back doors it would bring a smile to my face. But these are just a couple other pictures that I had taken of her over the past week. That's Gunner getting to know the horse and wanting to lay down and graze with her. We wouldn't let the dogs out in the backyard because we were afraid that they were going to get kicked, so we did have to walk the dogs separately. We did get Arabella moved out into the barn into her own run so she could be around the other horses. This was her eating hay from her, her manger and Liam checking her out. I don't think they're going to be best friends though. We don't like Liam. After that kick, I had to move Liam's food to the other side. I didn't want either horse to get hurt. So I did move Liam's food to the other side and that did mitigate some of the kicking. So her run was in between Liam and Quinn. This is Quinn right here in this video. Their introduction went a little bit better than hers and Liam's. Arabella and Freya will probably not be friends either.
Charlie's two runs over and hadn't really had any contact with her, but still hates her as well. Apparently he woke up on the wrong side of the bed because he was even picking on Sophie. But this is the new girl, Arabella. She is doing well in settling in. She did stop kicking Liam. She's still unsure about the other horses, so we are working on uh, making friends and we are going to get her turned out soon into the paddock area with the rest of the horses so she can start her life of retirement of just being a horse. So we're really glad that she's here and we've got her settling in and her decompressing. So there'll be lots more updates on this beautiful girl. And we just can't thank you all enough for all of your wonderful support in getting her here to our farm. Apparently Liam wants to say hi as well. Yes, do you want to say hi? Say hi to all your fans. <laughs> You're so funny, buddy. We also wanted to say thank you to everybody that has sent us gifts of Alpha Pro and other items from our Amazon wish list. Without your support, none of this would be possible. And we have some big things coming up uh, in our next week's video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we are, we did have t-shirt sales through Bonfire. However, we were looking for a local vendor and that's what we've been doing for the last few weeks. We did find a local vendor here. They're called Fierce Threads and they're going to be printing our t-shirts. So we're going to be doing a two week uh, fundraiser for t-shirts. Uh, we're gonna try it out for two weeks, have the t-shirts printed and see how everything goes. And then we're gonna probably do another round with some different colors. The t-shirts that are available are on the bighoofffoundation.org's website under the shop tab. We will have unisex shirts and we will also have a women's cut shirt. There will be a 100% cotton option, and there's also a tri-blend option. They come in a variety of sizes, along with a variety of colors, and you also get to choose what color logo you'd like, either black or white. So head on over to thebighooffoundation.org and check out all the t-shirts that we have available. All the profits from shirt sales go directly to feeding the horses and all their medical care that they may need. So those are going to be running until October 8th, and then after that we're going to have them printed, uh, which is about 10 days, so the shirt should ship somewhere around the end of October. So we're super excited to be able to get shirts out to you from a local vendor. Um, so those are available on our website at bighooffoundation.org. I will put a link in the description below. Other ways to support the foundation are to make a tax deductible donation to the Big Hoof Foundation. If you didn't want to do that, we also need feed. Feed is the one thing that we go through the most of here to feed all the horses on the farm. The horses eat Alpha Pro, which is a pelleted alfalfa. So we wanted to send a gift of Alpha Pro to the horse Horses, you can do that through our local feed store, which is HF and C. And just tell them you want to add those bags to the Big Hoof Foundation and they'll get those added to our account. I'll put a link in the description below with their contact information as well. Also, uh, we have decided to use Malls Feed and Seed, which is in the next town over from us. We found that they are the best price on hay. We go through probably about five bales of hay per day since the pasture is dying off for all the horses. So we have been using them for hay. I'll put a link in the description below for them as well. Uh, just tell them that you'd like to send us some bales of hay and they'll add those to the Big Hoof Foundation's um, 
account. Other ways to support us are our Amazon wish list, and also if you go to the BigHoofFoundation.org, our website, uh, there's a page on there on ways to donate, and there's all the supplies that we need as well if you didn't want to purchase those through Amazon. So. Lots happening around here, so stay tuned for more updates, and uh, we'll keep you posted on Arabella and how she's doing. She's settling in well, and we're super excited to have her here on the farm. So now we just have to get her to be nice to the other horses and start making some friends. <laughs> Again for watching, we truly appreciate your support and we will see you soon. Thanks.